demonstration will connect a circuit board to pedestals on a chassis with rigid spiders connected with a zero length C bush. So here we'll begin by putting a mesh on the chassis and the pedestals as well as the circuit board. The circuit board is represented by a shell mesh. We'll go ahead and assign uh, some physical properties to the circuit board as well as to the uh, to the chassis. Now before we create our uh, connections what we need to do is identify the center point for our zero length C bush and we'll do that um, with four points, uh, two points for each pedestal. And so that we can tell the difference between the points, I'm going to put two of those points on a, on a different layer as well. So the first set of points was on layer one, second set of points we'll put on layer 11 here. And then we'll turn off uh, layer one just for uh, the first step of defining our bolt connection. So here we'll define uh, the bolted connection as a bolt with a nut. And we'll use the center point uh, method to define the head as well as the nut. And this way we can uh, drag a box around all of the points that define the head and then change our layer to only see um, layer 1 and not 11 to select our points that define the nut. And then we'll select our faces that we want to connect our rigid spiders to, as well as the uh, diameter for our washer face for our connections. And here you can see it creates uh, the connection. So now next uh, what we need to do in order to complete the definition of the, uh, the zero length C bush is edit the mesh associated data and then also uh, define the, um, the bushing stiffness properties. All right, so that looks uh, good. Let's go ahead and do a test solve uh, by putting a constraint on the bottom of our chassis and then we'll put a, a G load on the rest of the assembly. And we'll go ahead and solve. And it's a pretty small model. Uh, here uh, it's a real-time solve in about six seconds. And we'll take a look at the results. So you can see everything's hanging together uh, very well. Let's test the robustness of the connection to, to survive a CAD change and an FE update. Let's go ahead and move those pedestals around. And go ahead and update our finite element model. So here you can see our connections have updated. Let's uh, go to the sim. We'll go ahead and clone the solution and uh, make another uh, solve. All right, once this completes, what we can do is take a look at our results side by side. So what we'll do is we'll put the results uh, from our original model on the left, and then we can open up the change on the right. We can synchronize the views, so when we rotate, pan, or zoom on one, it will do it on both. And that concludes the demonstration.